Hi, this is Chick Shane Mosley, and you're watching True School Sports. All right. When I was uh, around 12 or 13, there was only three gyms, boxing gyms in Vegas. Golden Gloves, uh, Barry's Boxing, and Johnny Tacos. And I was at Golden Gloves. And Rodney over here, was he was there back in back in that day. Um, a couple other people that are still around, they, they know about that gym. But anyway, I remember being like, just a young kid, hitting the bag, and then Tyson, this is where he would train. He would always, I remember it like it was yesterday, he would only get to listen to Tupac all eyes on me when he was in the gym. So I'm hitting the bag, and then just hitting it, and then he's, he comes around and he's standing about where these weights are, and he just starts staring at me. And the people were in a corner over there, getting his, he was taking his part that day, getting his craft ready. And they're like, Tyson, get over here. And he's not listening, he's just staring at me. So I'm like, I'm a kid and I just realized like, oh, this is Tyson, watch him. So I just start hitting it harder, hard as I can, and then it's going on. But that's one of the memories I had uh, from that gym. Some good memories, some not so good. I remember when I was uh, around the same age, um, I was just doing my sit-ups and stuff. And Roger, uh, came in, he was he was in the ring with his trainer, working on the pads, he was still training at that time, Roger Mason, and uh, some bum came in from off the streets, and he's like, hey, uh, you ain't no champ, you know, just talking crap to Roger, so Roger's like, whatever, man, I, like, get in here then, so they threw some gloves on the guy, and the guy didn't know how to box or anything, so I'm like, he's like, I'm just watching, and then uh, they put the gloves on the guy, and Roger's in his corner. Roger's trainer puts Roger's mouthpiece in and the guy goes, hey, I don't have one of those things you put in your mouth. Roger's like, you ain't gonna need one, motherfucker. <laughs> so they, he ended up uh, punching him like five or six times. The guy was bleeding out cold on the ground. There was a park that we used to run around and they dragged him back to that. But, the <laughs> park. but I mean, these are just memories from boxing like back in the day. Now I'm just, I just coach. This is my passion and I'm just here. Um, paying it forward because boxing kept me out of trouble as a kid and 